Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we will discuss how to use a control panel on multiple drives. Say for instance you've got a multi-drive with a couple of DSUs and some inverter modules and you've got only one uh, control panel connected to them or in my case I've got two different VSDs, drive 1, drive 2 and they are both connected to only one control panel. How do we use this? How do we operate how do we operate both drives from only one control panel? So one of the things that you will notice is this little symbol over here showing me a network. It means this control panel is connected to more than one VSD at a time. And at this point in time, I'm connected to drive one. So I can start drive one remotely and you can see it's running. I can see the speed, current, output voltage and it shows to me that drive one is running. If I want to switch to drive number two, I go to options, I will see select drive, I go to select drive, and I will see drive one is running, drive two, it is not running, but it's ready to run. So this is where your naming of drives become very important. If you just have funny names there, you won't know which drive you are connected to. So it could be that your drives are named uh, fan 1, fan 2, bridle rail number 13, whatever. It depends on your factory and your setup. So I've got drive 1, drive 2. Drive 1 is running at this point in time. I want to go to drive 2. And I just scroll down to it and I say select. And it will switch to drive number 2. Quick and easy. There I can see I'm still on the network, drive 2. It's standing still, obviously there's no speed, so I can start drive number two, and it's running. Um, I can also go to local control from uh, here, switch drive two into local control, you can see it's now in local, and I want to go back to drive number one. So I go to options, select drive. And I can see drive 1 is running, drive 2 is running. And I want to go back to drive number 1. And I say select, but it won't allow you to go to drive 1 or to a different drive if you are still in local control mode in the current drive. So what you have to do is, you have to switch back to remote. In drive number 2 it's in remote. And I can start it in remote and now I can go to drive number one. Ah, drive number one. So now I'm back in drive number one. I've got drive number one running, drive number two running. Say for instance, I've got a problem in drive number two. Drive number two trips. I'm creating a, a trip now. I can see the red light coming on indicating there's a fault. It shows me on the network little uh, icon there. It's got a cross. There's something wrong in the network. Drive 1 is still running. It's no problem. It tells me fault in drive number 2 or it could be inverter number 7. It could be fan inverter number 5. I don't know what it is. So it tells me in that fault uh, the fault is in drive number 2. So I can either switch from here, or say for instance your colleague didn't uh, switch, he just said hi to fault. I come to the drive, I see this drive 1 running, I've got a fault and the network shows me a fault. I can go to options and I go to select drive and it shows me drive number 1 is still running. I've got a fault in drive number 2. So I scroll to drive number 2 and say select. And now it goes over to drive number two again. And it now shows me these faults that I've got active. And I can fix them as normal and reset them as normal. And green light comes back on. Drive number two, I can start again, no problem. So just to show you, both drives are now still running, no problem.